Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about 15 things you must do after installing Vanilla OS. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, Vanilla OS is based on Ubuntu Linux distribution and it is also called as Immutable and Atomic Ubuntu based distribution. And as they claim, it receives the updates right at the time. And it has the genome desktop environment that you see in many other Linux distribution. Other than that, you can play your favorite games without worrying about anything in terms of your hardware because the kernel that Vanilla OS offers is the latest one and has all the flexibility and all the compatibility in terms of your hardware resources. And other than that, your GPU will not be an issue anymore because of its integrated driver management. So again, it's a very plus point for all the gamers out there. And at the end, I'll talk about all the technologies that have made Vanilla OS possible. We have Ubuntu, Genome, Root, APX, Distrobox, etc. So that was a bit of introduction. Now let's see what 15 things we must do in order to get the best out of this Linux distribution. So obviously, first of all, I'll open my terminal, which is called as console in vanilla OS. So I'll just open this one. Here it is. And unlike other Ubuntu based Linux distribution in which we use command as sudo apt space install, and then we write the name of the application or package. This is not the case with vanilla OS, although it is based on Ubuntu. Well, first of all, I'll show you that how you can update and upgrade your system. For that purpose, we have to use some other way. And that is sudo space vso space update hyphen check and hit enter. Give it your password, hit enter once again, and it will check if there is any new update for your system. So this is the difference between vanilla OS and other Linux distributions that are based on Ubuntu. Okay, you might be wondering that do we have to do this or do we have to follow this particular way in order to install any application or package in vanilla OS? Do not worry, no. I'll show you a simpler and more sophisticated way. So we are done with the update. Now let's talk about how we can upgrade our system. To upgrade, we have to use a command as sudo vso space trigger hyphen upgrade. Give it a space and I'll have now as a flag which will force my system to have an upgrade right at this moment. So I'll hit enter now. Okay, here we have an error because instead of upgrade, we have to write here update. After that hit enter and we are done here with the upgrade of our system. On number two, I'll talk to you about how we can create a container and then how we can install different applications and packages. Because as I have talked about earlier that with vanilla, we cannot use apt directly. So what we can do? Well, we can create a container for Ubuntu and then we'll be able to use our apt command directly and we'll be able to install anything very easily. How can we do that? Well, first of all, if I open vanilla control center, here it is. I'll just open that one here. If you see under the subsystems, we have different containers available. Here it is for the Arch Linux, Fedora, Alpine, OpenSUSE, Word Linux subsystem. I want to have one for my Ubuntu so that I can use APT. How can I do that? Well, I just close this one just right here, APX space in it, and it will initialize the container for your Ubuntu. Press Y, hit enter, and you are good to go. First of all, it will remove the container and then it will recreate it and you'll be able to have your APT command at your disposal. So we are done here. Let me clear my terminal and we have successfully created our container. So as we have successfully created a container, now it's time to enter into that container so that we can use APT. How can we do that? Well, just right here, APX space enter, hit enter. And now it will install some basic packages and after that we'll be able to use it. We are done here and if you see now it says at apx underscore managed earlier it was saying at vanilla. It means we are done here. Now let me clear my terminal and let's move on to the next one. Number three, install firewall. Well, now I'll install firewall with the help of apt. Not only will install firewall, we'll also check if apt is working or not. So command for that is sudo space apt space install space ufw so as vanilla is based on ubuntu that is why i'll go with this one hit enter and you can see that apt is working pretty fine 
now it is asking for the confirmation i'll press y hit enter and now it will start the download and installation process for my firewall we are done here with the installation of our firewall and it's time to enable it command for that is sudo space ufw space enable and hit enter and in case if you want to install a firewall with the graphical user interface command for that is sudo space apt hyphen get space install space gufw hit enter and it will ask you for your confirmation press y hit enter and you are good to go on number four we have htop well if i write here top hit enter it will open a command based utility or terminal based utility that looks like this well this utility is telling me about all the resources that are in use and the processes that are using those resources and the percentage of resources that are being used by each process. Here you can see here I have all the process IDs, user of those processes and then we have the percentage of resources that are being used by each process. And at the top we have summary of all the information in terms of our memory. But if you see this information is not as clear as we would have liked. So what we can do here, we can install another utility and the command for that is sudo space apt install space htop and hit enter and you are good to go and from here press y and hit enter and it will install this utility in your system let it get complete and then i'll show you that what is the difference so just right here htop hit enter and now this is how it looks like now it is in more sophisticated way as we have different colors indicating different information and the summary is in more sophisticated way as well so here we have memory swappiness value and all the other information that we had earlier now let's get out of this and let's move on to the next one. On number five, we have Synaptic Package Manager. Well, Synaptic Package Manager is a graphical user interface for your APT package manager that you can use in your Ubuntu and other Linux distribution. And it's a very easy to use tool that is a great alternative to your command line process that you use to install and manage your different software and your packages. How can we install it? Well, just write in your terminal sudo space apt hyphen get space install, give it a space and write here synaptic, hit enter and you are good to go. It will download and install synaptic in your system. From here, press y, hit enter and let the process get complete. We are done here. Let's clear our terminal and let's move on to the next one. On number six, we have multimedia codecs. Well, some multimedia codecs are not pre-installed in Ubuntu based Linux distribution. And same goes for vanilla OS. And having multimedia codecs is very necessary to play different multimedia files, for example, MP3, MPEG4, AVI, and other most widely used multimedia file formats. We can simply install our multimedia codecs by installing Ubuntu restricted extras package. How can we do that? Well, just write the command as sudo space apt hyphen get space install, give it a space, and write here Ubuntu hyphen restricted hyphen extras and after that just hit enter and you are good to go from here you need to press y in order to give the confirmation again press enter and we are good to go so i'll press y and we are done we are done with this one as well and let's see what do we have next on number seven we have tlp well you might have noticed that sometimes linux distributions consume a little bit of more battery and especially this is the case with Ubuntu. Well, for that purpose, we have a utility that we can install and we can make sure that we get extra hours out of our batteries. How can we do that? Well, simply install a utility called as TLP. Command for that is sudo space apt space install space TLP space TLP hyphen R D W. Hit enter. From here, press Y, hit enter and you are good to go. We are done with the download and installation and now we need to enable it. Command for that is sudo space system ctl space enable space tlp hit enter and we are good to go let's clear our terminal and let's move on to the next one on number eight we have wine well wine is a tool that you can use in order to run different windows based application in your linux distributions so we can do the same with our vanilla os how to install it well the command for that is sudo space apt hyphen get space install space wine 64 and hit enter press y hit enter once again and we are good to go let me remind you one thing here and that is wine is not an emulator and it is not perfect but it's very easy and reliable tool that you can use for your windows based applications so this can be very useful we are done with this one here as well and let's see what do we have next on number nine we have flatpak flatpak is a software utility that is from fedora and it let us to have access 
to more applications and software packages in our Linux and its various distributions. Many applications that you might not find in your software center, you can find those in your flat pack. How can we install it? Well, the command is really simple and it is as sudo space apt hyphen get space install space flat pack and hit enter. From here, press Y, hit enter once again and now you are good to go. We are done here. And on number 10, we have nightlight. Well, in case if you spend a lot of time on your computer, then vanilla operating system has a feature for you and it monitors the light for your eyes because the standard blue light that comes out of your screen is very harmful to our eyes. So we can do a simple step in order to get prevention from it. Just open the settings of your vanilla operating system and after that go to your display section. I'll scroll down here it is. From here we have a section that is called as night light. Just click on it and at the moment it is disabled. If I just enable this now the night light feature has been enabled. We can customize the timing for that as well. We have schedule here. We can set that one or we can also go for a customized time. Down here we have a temperature that we want to have from our screen in terms of the color. You can increase the value or decrease the value. And with this your eyes are safe from the very harmful blue light. And with that we are done with this one as well. On number 11 we have GIMP. GIMP that is also called as GNU image manipulation software. Well, it's a free and open source image editing tool that we can use in our Linux and its distribution. And it's a very reliable alternate of Adobe Photoshop that we use in our Windows operating system. Now, in order to install it, use the command as sudo space apt hyphen get space install space gimp. From here, it will ask you for your confirmation. Press Y, hit enter once again. On number 12, we have Python. Well, as Linux distributions are considered very safe and reliable, as well as they are considered very fast in terms of performance. And same goes for programming purposes. Python is one of the most prominent programming language that you can use. So in order to install Python in your vanilla OS, just use the command as sudo space apt space install space python and then write here 3 and now hit enter. I have already installed it that is why you will not see it here. Let's clear our terminal and let's move on to the next one. On number 13 we have Java. Well just like Python programming language, Java is another very prominent programming language that you can use, create your different applications, different softwares and it can also help you with your different website content as well. So in order to install it just write here sudo space apt space install and in case if you do not know that with which version you should go just write here default hyphen jdk and it will install a jdk for the java for you in your linux distribution and jdk stands for java development kit hit enter and now it will ask you for the confirmation press y to enter once again and java will get installed in your system on number 14 we have opt in opt out from problem reporting well canonical uses the reports of technical problems to help improve the Ubuntu experience for its users. You can choose not to send those reports to Ubuntu developers. How can we do that? Well, simply search for diagnostic in your system. Here it is. Just open that one. From here, you just need to disable this option that says automatic problem reporting. And now nothing will be sent to the Ubuntu developers and you have your privacy at your hand. And now for the last command, we have system cleanup. Well, for the smooth functioning of your system, we should keep it clean from the junk files and unwanted cache. How can we do that? Well, first of all, in order to clean your partial packages, use the command as sudo space apt hyphen get space auto clean. It will clean all the partial packages from your system. After you are done with this one, now let's remove unused dependencies that are there in our vanilla operating system. So right here, sudo space apt hyphen get space auto remove hit enter and you are good to go. Well, as we install a lot of and different things in our Linux distribution, so there are very high chances that we get some unused packages, orphan packages, unused dependencies. So it is better to clean all those. Now at the end, I'll show you that how you can clean up your apt cache. Well, just right here, sudo space apt hyphen get space clean and hit enter and you are good to go. Now let's clear our terminal and we are done with all the 15 things that we must do or should do after installing our vanilla OS. Now let's have some bonus tips. Let's open our settings. 
here it is i'll just open that one from here look for account section here it is here it says online accounts well here if you see we have different accounts we have google next cloud microsoft microsoft exchange etc well you can connect to all of your accounts from here so just set up these and you are good to go other than that you have many other options that you can go for from your settings for example if i just search for background here it is we have a parent section just open that one from here you can set different background wallpaper for your desktop so here it is here we have different backgrounds that we can go with in case if you want to add a customized one or your own one just click on this add picture and go to the directory where you have your picture that you want to have as your desktop background just select that one and you are good to go at the end i'll show you one more bonus thing and that is sometimes that you might have noticed whenever you try to search something on the internet your browser takes a little bit of long time well it is not all about the internet speed every time sometimes it's about the dns server or the website that you are trying to access to get rid of this problem just go to your internet connection and here i have my wired connections i'll go to wired settings from here click on this plus icon go to your ipv4 and here it says dns uncheck this option that says automatic write the dns name as per your liking i'll go for 8.8.8.8 comma 8.8.4.4 well these are two dns ip addresses for google and now you will see a tremendous increase in terms of the performance from your browser so go with this option and enjoy better speed and better performance so i'll just close this one and at the end if you remember we went with our apx ubuntu which was a container for ubuntu at the end we must get out of this how can we do so well just right here exit and here you can see we are out of our apx managed and now apt command will not work right here so that was all about this particular video and i hope now that you must have liked and learned a lot of new things by watching this particular video if that is the case do leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care and if you have anything to ask do leave a comment below i'll see you in the next video